Hello and welcome to our coven. We're angels on broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo. And, and we, we love the makeup. I'm Kristen. And I'm Evangeline. And today we kind of have a loose-ish theme. We're going to be playing with new makeup and some old makeup and doing a spring look. Mm-hmm. All right. I brought, I ended up bringing actually a lot of oldies, but I'm going to try and integrate maybe a couple things Something you have there, another one new thing, but I'm, I'm busting out some oldies here too, so I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I got some things that I got that we just reviewed that I want to talk about just to say how much I love them, and then we're going to do, yeah, I'm going to do a colorful eye look. Yeah, I might do something, because you busted out the blends from Blend Bunny, and I may do a pastel thing too, very spring-like. And that's the plan for today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I brought out was this NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation that I went through a phase I was obsessed with and then I've been out of it. But I want to give her a chance again. Yeah. And I've been loving um, the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Serum because I work outdoors all day and I found it really helps, like not mm. make you greasy and make everything slip slide away. This stuff is so intriguing. It's just a serum, and I just, it's like a primer. Yeah, I really like it. It's made a difference. So this is a winner, winner chicken dinner. I got a color corrector that's new from Elf Green to add into my foundations. Oh, green. Ooh. Yeah. I add it to get to get rid of some of the pink and the neutral foundations. Does it work? Yeah. I mean, I almost need a bigger one for the mixing part, but I have been using it. As it's sometimes priming the most red pot, oh my god, part of my face, and I find it's working. Mm. Makeup Forever has like a full green primer, which I'm interested in. If anybody's tried that, let me know. Yeah. I've been doing what I, watching your videos on your channel, and I've been doing what you're doing in that you put your concealer on first. Mm, yeah. That's what I used to do in the olden days until the internet. Really? Told me not to. Oh. I go through phases. I already had a little bit of concealer on already, so that's why I'm going straight in for the foundation. It's like I like to put my coverage concealer on first, and then if I'm doing any brightening, I like to do that after blush and bronze. Uh, I like that order. I have a spring makeup goal. What is your spring makeup goal? To work on my brows more. Why? I really want to get my brow technique down for the days I'm, like, going to be more attentive to my brows. Oh. Because I feel like I still haven't gotten it that I get, like, a really, you know, on fleek brow. I've never attained such a thing. Do you want, an, like, a sculpted brow? Like, of... I actually have pictures of my dream brows. Okay. That I... Here, I'll pop up. These two girls I follow on TikTok. Those are my dream brows. Color... And shape. I'll show you after because my phone's being in this Okay. That's my goal. That sounds good. But I don't know how to get there. I don't know. Maybe you need a brow whisperer. Yeah. Is there such thing? I don't know. Because my biggest problem, I have two, is this brow loves to lift up a thousand times higher than this. Plus, that, that it's all patchy. That makes you look clever. No, it makes me look stupid. But brows are not, you know, twins. These aren't even They're cousins. Cousins. These are, I don't know, strangers. Neighbors? Strangers on a train come together to murder. What? That's a, that's a plot of a Alfred Hitchcock movie. Mm -hmm. Strangers on a train. You've never heard of it? So I'm uh, using the milk jelly tint. Jellyton? Yes. I picked up another color at the sale. This is the color, uh, oh lordy, chill. It's more of a, this is definitely like a pinky, like a uh, springy color. I'm busting out the good apple. Ooh, I got too much. This might not be the right brush for it, though. I just had to borrow a brush from you. Good oh, one. no, that's not the right brush. No. I'll make do. The biggest thing with these is just to work fast. Let's see if this works better. Do you have spring makeup goals? No. Nothing. I just don't want any 
I think I'm achieving them by it's the complexion. Mm-hmm. I don't want anything to get all greasy and smear. Yeah, I've been trying to go back to glow a little bit because I was really into mattes. I, what I love about glowy like foundations and stuff is how it looks right away, but the longevity just yeah. isn't there. I'm trying to find a That's balance. why I like this yummy skin. I, I've tried it with everything. Even mm. that foundation I hate, which is the House, House Labs, Labs, I found it fine. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it did, what happened. Because I do like every foundation I use right away. Yeah. Like, there's no foundation I hate. I can't say that. Okay. And my favorite, Makeup by Mario, bronzer, greasy balm. So now I'm going in with a concealer. This is newish in that it's a different shade of the NARS Radiant Creamy because they are discontinuing my favorite brightening concealer from Urban Decay. So I just got this in a lighter shade. Okay. Why are they discontinuing? I think to make room for the Vice Bond stuff. So they discontinued all the stay naked. What's that mean? Oh, there's is there no oh and not I think the naked they're out. probably going to release a concealer coming up soon to match that vice bond stuff we have. Hmm. I like that foundation. It's almost Me too. like at first it's a bit odd, but it wears really nicely throughout the day. Yeah, I like it too. Is my impression. Mm. What? Jowl. How's Jowl. your bug bite? It's gone. I had a bug bite last video, and it's gone. There's just this touch of redness, but it's like... Mm-hmm. It's a touch of red. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. I've been feeling bitten lately. We had a little... What if we have bed bugs? <laughs> Let's hope not. I've had them before in my life. What? Yeah, right before I moved to my current place, we had them at the Queen West. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sure I did. That's not something you don't tell somebody. You always forget that I tell you things, so I definitely told you. This was How like did you get rid of ago. them? Okay, now here's for the star of the show. Remember when I had that Moira haul? Mm-hmm. Okay, this blush, Love Heat Cream Blush in Protect You is my favorite in the whole world. Mm. It's a peach. Mm. I love it. Is it peach? Corally. It's like a very vibrant coral. It's It looks so good. And it's so springy. Look what I'm busting out, guys. Hula. This is the Hula light, though. And it's highly pigmented, so. Even I though it's the a, light. I have one of those um, Benefit complexion boxes. Mm-hmm. One of the first things I bought just before lockdown. Oh, one of the first things I bought. Yeah. One, one of, the, of the first. Not the last. <laughs> that's when that's when the makeup went crazy. Oh, God. How much money? How much money have you used? I that? spent $40,000 on shoes. There's your down payment, Carrie. I was literally talking <laughs> about that with my new coworker today. And Carrie and her shoe buying on her writer's salary for writing one column a week. <laughs> literally talking about that about two hours ago. Yeah, there's your down payment. But whatever. How else are we going to live our lives? I don't think we spent $40,000 quite (laughs) on makeup, but... I'm not convinced. I am not convinced. Between the two of us, we definitely have. Come on. forty. We don't have (laughs) $40,000. Okay. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Okay, I I didn't bring my own, but I did buy this. I'm going to borrow yours again. Reporting back. I am reporting back. That Rare Beauty, the new Luminous Powder Blush, I was quite concerned it wasn't going to work for me with being textured skin, but using a light hand, keeping it a bit higher, I am loving it. I am loving it. It's just a light hand and it's a blush topper. And so, just so you know, textured skin girlies and peoples, just like this. Have you been using it a lot? I've been yeah, using I use it, it every lot. day. I use it as a highlighter, so I'm not going to use it right this second. I'm going to do my eyes first and where I'm going to do. I'm just going to do like an inner inner corner feature featuring a, a pale pastel uh, shade. And then go from there. Then there's this highlighter palette. Any people who've been here for a while, do you remember how obsessed I was with this? The Glodiant palette from... 
I don't even know. Touch and Soul. Oh, that's from um, a boxy charm. Apparently it expired. Oh. It was made in 2020. I've never seen an expiry on a makeup product. Anyway, I was... Well, they to... always say, like, when you open up a palette, like those Pat McGrath palettes, mm -hmm. 24 months. <laughs> oh, Pat. <laughs> come on. Yeah, come, come on. on. Come on. $170 and it's only going to last you two years? Fuck no. Ooh, I got foundation in my hair, guys. Goal number two is to attempt to slowly lighten my hair a little bit. Why? Just a little bit, a lighter yeah. red. Ian, we were talking about that. I'm going to use a henna blend with cassia in it on my roots. You've done that before. Forward. Okay, but look at Zoe De Chanel. Yeah, but I'm not Zoe De Chanel. I think my coloring needs something a touch lighter. You what? have complimented my hair at the end of the summer before, when it becomes almost strawberry blonde for but like... Skin has to be darker. I don't like it. What? It's not going to be very obvious. It's only going to be obvious to me. Okay. I can't, you can't lighten henna hair that much. It's just a subtle thing. I busted out this NARS powder. This is that soft matte one. No one really talked it. about this. I have it too. Oh, you brought that out. I, I saw Rose and Ben, that yeah. uh, makeup artist, do the most amazing trick for sunglasses. So oh. you use a pressed powder, mm -hmm. and you bake your nose where the where your sunglasses are for like you know five minutes. Yes, so I have done thing. that. Sometimes I'll put the powder on my sunglasses. Yeah, and you thing. put the powder on your sunglasses. Yeah, on like those really sweaty days, I I've started doing that. So I'm gonna do that right now just for fun. These, and even though I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just going to take a little bit of extra attention with this brow today. Just because often I miss gaps. So it's just the benefit like powder, pencil. I just get very lazy about my brows quick. I don't care about brows. No, you don't. It's a French girl thing to do mm. a kind of messy brow. That's true. Nothing should be perfect. Although my brows are pretty perfect as they are. Sometimes I'm driving and I just stare into my brows. Mm. Is that vain? Yeah, but why do we think vanity has to be a bad thing? What's because I should be vanity? watching the road. Oh, that's true. Narcissist looking into the puddle, <laughs> causing a car accident. Now, this is that NYX brow pencil that you like. That's my thing. Uh -huh. Yours looks tiny. Here's mine. Oh, they're different. So, didn't you want to talk about something? Love and romance, since it's spring. The bees are a buzzing. What do you think about, um, like, people who get engaged and have, like, major engagement, like, social media presence? Oh, that's something a couple of my friends and I have talked about. Like, if we ever got engaged, would we put it on social media? My friends were like, yeah. I was like, will I? Would I? I'm engaged. Whatever. I don't want to judge anyone, but I'm not sure I would do it myself. What do you think about, like, public displays of affection? Oh. PDA. I, I'm I'm uh, trying to get better at it. Oh, you want to be a PDA? No, it's not that I want to be. It's that <laughs> this what? is a private story. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that's what we're here for. Um, my partner kind of called me up for being a bit of a cold fish in public. So you want to rectify that? Yeah, I want to be a bit... It's not... I like to be aware of other people around me and not be somebody taking up... Making others uncomfortable. But also, I don't always have to put other people's comfort before my own. Yeah. Which I think but many But do you like to do. PDA in general? No, I don't want to be making out on the beach in front of people. But like, you know, getting better about holding hands. Shit like that. Little kiss. I don't want to be so reserved. Why? What are your thoughts? Does it make you cringe? Yeah, I've never been PDA. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, I remember once when I was a teenager, this boy tried to hold my hand and I almost melted into the pavement. <laughs> like, I was like, like that? I, 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 yes! Uh, where she's like, oh, and she falls. It, it, I felt you that way. That. Oh. I almost freaking 
fell into the... But what do you think that is? Is it something or it's just... Why? I don't know. It's a strong reaction. It was a strong reaction. A little thing. Maybe it wasn't held that much as a baby. They... My therapist did t- say something about, like, is your family a touchy family? I said, no. No, we're just ice cubes yeah. and a glass of water. It's true. We are not that way. It's my fault. Yeah. It's always the mother's fault, and I know why, because I wasn't held as a baby. You weren't? In the orphanage, no. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I had all these brothers and sisters, uh, one brother, and, like, all these sisters holding me. Mm-hmm. Even if my mother didn't. Hmm. Putting the white shadow on first, and I'm almost loving how the white shadow looks. How odd would that be to do a white eyeshadow look? Not odd. I never have done that. In all my years of makeup, I've never done, like, white eyeshadow. Silver, sure. But, like, a bold white. What an idea. I'm not going to do that now. I've seen Vanessa Myricks do it. It looks that, really yeah. good. Do you have romance goals for the summer? Because I don't have anybody. No, but it's you a could trauma think. response. No, because there's nobody in my dating pool. Not Listen, that my attitude. friend, one of my friends, Wendy, she's the one on Hinge or whatever. She's the one doing the dating for my age group. Mm-hmm. And she went on a date the other day. And this guy, okay, he's she's not very tall, but he's like shorter than her. And she's 5'4". And he came in, and he's a psychotherapist. Get this, what he was wearing. Pants to the ground. He was wearing his jeans riding so low, his full-on white man's buttocks were exposed. Not bare, but in the underwear. Ew. Yeah. What the heck? A psychotherapist, and he said he had three children. And a psychotherapist. Sorry, but that's a big red flag. <laughs> I would never date a psychotherapist. Why? Because they'll analyze you? No, they why? won't because they're all damaged. Oh. That's why they go into psychotherapy. Interesting perspective. It's not a perspective. It's a fact. But doesn't that mean they've worked on themselves and they have self-awareness? Not necessarily. So I'm going into some very fresh spring greens here. This is fun. I always forget about Blend Bunny, but I've seen so many looks on Instagram people have done, and it just seems like a good brand. I know. It is a good brand. I think I need to darken the lash line just with this black shadow in this palette. I hope that in my old age I don't get uh, bored of makeup. Well, here's a funny story. Okay. My grandma's in the hospital right now. She broke her... That's not funny. That's not the funny part. No, and that's not my mother. It's her father's mother. And anyway, she broke her foot. Not good. But, and had surgery. And so she's been in the hospital for a couple of weeks. And I was like on the phone with her, like helper who was going to her house to pick up stuff. And she's like, and make sure she gets the NARS tube, the one that's fuller. And one of the concealers, the YSL or the <laughs> NARS will do. And like <laughs> she's requesting all her makeup and it's all luxury. She's always been into like Shiseido and stuff. So anyway, every time I go to the hospital, she looks very fresh. And the first thing I noticed when I went to see her, like thinking she'd look like old people look in the hospital, I was like, you look very fresh. <laughs> she puts her makeup on every day. She's just sitting in well, the bed. When she has pictures of herself when she gave birth to her dad. Yeah. She had a perfect chignon, perfect wings, false lashes. Yeah. At first her- I th- was disturbed by that. Now I'm like, I, I would do that. <laughs> you know? I saw a funny TikTok of this uh, Someone around my age in labor and her sister had like her curling iron out and was like curling her hair while she was in bed waiting to give birth. I love that. I love yeah. stories like that. Because you're going to have a picture. So. Yeah. You, my picture was so rough. In a good way. You look like Elvis. In a good way. I look like Elvis. My hair is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> it was short. I had short hair back then. You've always had short Oh, I have short hair now. Yeah. Yeah. So just doing a wing, a shadow, eyeshadow, black wing. I do like pastel eyeshadows with a wing to, like, balance it or add more contrast, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm impressed with the shadow as a wing, too. It's easy to use. Back to our conversation about romance. What do you think about... What do you think about marriage? 
you want to get married? Now I've decided, yeah. Oh, okay. I think it marks a certain level of seriousness in a relationship if you're committing to someone long term. And as you get older, there's less fun milestones like graduations and stuff. So I think it would be a fun thing to do. If potentially a stupid thing. Do you think your partner watches your videos? No. You talk doesn't. about him behind his back. He just hears me editing them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so sometimes if I, he's been mentioned, even if it's in a funny anecdote, I turn the volume down and I... <laughs> just because I don't want him being like, hey, don't talk about me. One of my best friends is getting engaged probably tomorrow. And I'm going to be the sneaky photographer. So her partner reached out last week and he's like... Can you take photos? And it's going to be hard to surprise this girl because she's ready. She knows it's happening. So I don't think we'll be able to fully surprise her, but... But you, are you still going to hide out in the bush? Yeah, I'm, I think so. I don't know where it is exactly yet, but you're saying to... I got to disguise myself. I got to put on a hoodie. I would love yeah. to be there. Baseball. A hoodie because not any ounce of her hair could show. Yeah. Claire's very observant, so I know. Observant. And you better be wearing sweatpants. Don't yeah. wear a skirt. <laughs> you and your flowy skirts. That's all she I think wears. I'm bicycling, so flowy skirts flowing in the breeze. Okay. <laughs> sweatpants, sweatpants, and sweat hoodie. Sweatpants, sweat hoodie. Baseball hat, hair back, crouch down low, yeah. in the bush. It'll be fun. Anyway, fingers crossed it all works out and I get a good photo and it's a surprise. Okay, so I'm going to put a little glimmer shimmer. shimmer. Moira, Helios. I think I'm done my eye look. So I'll just get started on mascara. Oh yeah, I used that one I think last time. I was listening to a podcast with Chelsea Handler and she had Jane Fonda. Oh, and Jane Fonda's been married a zillion times. Hmm. She's 86. Wow. When she, she said she packed up shop 10 years ago. What do you mean? Packed up she shop? Not, she's not having the intercourse. Oh. Is she getting married again? Still? No, she's not interested. She's only interested in having female friendships. Hmm. Is that cute? Yeah. She said none of her men were the one. Hmm. And is there she were, married now or no? No, she's oh. single. She packed up shop. Oh, I see. Okay. She's not interested. Okay, let's finish off our mascaras and then we'll be back for lips. Alrighty, here we are. Ready for lips? Um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to work out. I already have some lip stain on, so I'm just going to, from earlier, so I'm going to amp it up with this. Holy, she pigmented. This one builds up this shade a lot. Hello. 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 My favorite liner these days has been Versatile Chestnut from Makeup Forever. Yeah, you've been changing. I'm going to use one of these pink melt ones from when they had that Monarch collection. Mm. It, this kind of pink reminds me of Palm Royale. I can't get over that show. Mm. The makeup. Have you seen it? Nay, nay. I'm mm. watching Dairy Girls. Gearing up for Bridgerton season three. Uh, pollen. Am I right, guys? Pollen. What? If you know, you know. And a bit of gloss with the Merit Sangria lip oil. Oh, that's a look. I'm not mad at. Yeah, I'm happy today. I like it. Yeah, pretty. I like the lipstick. It's this crazy. is very springy. Why don't I wear this? Look, we both did green. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um, any last thoughts before we head off into the night? Mm, not really. You? Yeah. No. Just, uh, no. Tomorrow's another day. Another day. We were just saying off camera, we're a little sick of life. <laughs> yeah, she because she was talking about turtles getting buried in this woman's backyard. Yeah, she puts her turtles for their brumation winter. They go underground in the winter, in the fall, she digs them back up in the spring. And no, it's not animal abuse. It's what they're supposed to do naturally. But they need assistance because they don't live in the wild. They live in her backyard. And I was like, why don't we have that? We should. All these animals hibernate. They rest. We don't. And we live in, you know, go-getter culture. Oof. Uh, especially, like, 
I don't know, North American, big city. Someone I recently met came from Alberta to Toronto, and she's like, I do notice this Toronto lifestyle. Like, everyone's like, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. busy. And it's true, because we are, but we shouldn't be. It's exhausting. Today, I was so tired. I was sitting at my desk with this. I was trying to take I feel like I'm, yeah. But I couldn't, because my adrenaline was like this. Yeah. Over social media posts. (sighs) Anywho, so I'm manifesting for this spring, I guess, aside from lightening my hair and getting my brow game in check, (laughs) resting a bit more, true rest, true rest, put the phone away and just sit, you know, yeah, let us know in the comments down below your thoughts on your spring makeup goals, your spring goals. And what you what you've been loving lately? Yeah, what you've been loving? I want to know. Whether it's makeup or something else, let us know. And thanks so much for watching, especially if you made it to the end. And if you like, comment, and subscribe, it really helps a lot. And we'll see you next time. Stay witchy, stay bitchy. Have a good week. Bye, Bye witches. witches.